You've been kind enough to give me the tour. What is it you do here at Norgen? Norgen Engineers is a subcontract company. We do not specialise in, say, Formula One aircraft. We generally do anything that anyone throws at us. Um, we do things like uh, propulsion, seals for propulsion on ships, food industry, moulds for the food industry, power stations. And I know you like to buy high levels of technology. There's not, you know, there's not a cheap machine tool in here. The tooling's all pre premium tooling. So is that important focus? It is very important. Um, the work we do is of a high quality, uh, tight tolerances. I like to have machinery that I can rely on. And the quality build of machine tools is very important to us. And how has your relationship been with Tech over the years? Excellent. Um, I've worked with Tech now for well over a decade. Um, the local sales rep I, I've known for a long time as well, which helps. His knowledge and, uh, is second to none for us. Yeah, it's, it's excellent. I've been to Korea. Uh, and seen uh, new technology. I've been a couple of times actually, and um, yeah. And what types of tooling do you use here from Tegatech? We use uh, nearly anything. Um, milling cutters, turning tips, uh, gold rush drills, excellent. We found uh, great results with them. Saved a lot of time and money. Uh, yes, everything, very good. The latest ones we're using is the Typhoon uh, speed increases, spindle speed increases. Uh, I went to see them a year ago over in Korea in a tech centre and I just knew straight away we had an application for that, that tooling. So is this the part in your hand? Yeah, this part here is um, what we, um, it's an embossing plate for card that is used on uh, drinking cups. Um, we use three tools, a one mil, two mil and a three mil ball nose. This particular one, using a standard 18,000 spindle, could take us up to about eight hours, nine hours at a time. Where using this 50,000 RPM we're achieving with the Typhoon tooling, we've reduced it down to four hours. Wow, so you've saved actually 50% of the cycle time. And it was already a high speed spindle to start with. Exactly. But these cutters, these one mil ball nose cutters, work a lot better at higher speeds. And uh, we've also found is that we do not get the tool wear that we were getting on uh, 18,000. Uh, typical heavy embossing card of say 20 ounce, we could lose 10 cutters at a time. We use one cutter right through, no problem. It's a very good story. We've been working with Kevin for over 10 years now and uh, we've introduced lots of new tooling. As Kev's invested in uh, new machinery, new technology, we've worked as, to a partnership together to try and bring in the new, new and best tools to help their productivity as a general subcontractor. And we're talking about in particular the Typhoon. I know this last job is say four hours. The Typhoon is a game changer for, for Norjon. Um, we were given an application to look at with the Typhoon and uh, We've taken a job from 11 hours to four hours and the performance of the product is, there's nothing to compare to the product. And you've got a happy customer as well. A happy customer is a good customer. And if my customer is happy, I'm happy because he's then using the right tools for the right application and everyone wins. And I know that the last job we looked at was on the five axis machine, but they also use it on the Akuma as well. The tool, the Typhoon can be used on any machine, the 20 bar coolant pressure, it will work exactly the same on a turn mill, a milling machine, a five axis machine. The, 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 it's a very versatile tool. So can you tell me about it? Firstly, how does it work? And secondly, how quick can it go? It, basically, it's a, it's a through coolant uh, spindle speed unit. And uh, if you've got 20 bar coolant pressure, it goes through the tool and then there's a turbine inside which then turns the tool. And then we can see at 20 bar coolant pressure, 30,000, um, RPM, but if you've got higher coolant pressure, say 45, you'll be in the 50,000 RPM, which for small tooling is right on. That's where you want to be. It is, you know, a lot of tool, a tool life is significantly reduced on small diameters because most machine tools can't get up to 30, 40,000 RPM. So it's a, it's a double whammy, isn't it? You're saving cycle time and you're saving tools. It's, it's a win-win for the customer. Ultimately, the surface finish due to the cutter running at the correct speed is 
is um, priceless. I mean, at the end of the day, it's reducing bench work, it's uh, giving you a good finish on the part. You've got uh, one tool will complete a part, whereas previously you had a situation where two, three, maybe four tools of the small diameter ones would break due to not running at the correct RPM. This looks like an ER32 here. Is that all you have? No, it's a very flexible system. It can be an ER32, which is works on nearly every single machine, or you can have a dedicated BT, uh, a DIN, HSK, straight shank, or even Capto if, if, if the customer desires. So it's, it's uh, a very flexible system that can be used on any machine. And what other applications can we use it for? And maybe small diameter drilling, things like this? Small diameter drilling, you can do uh, thread milling, you can uh, chamfer, engrave, you can even use it as a grinding uh, unit where you can uh, grind and put a, a seating face down. So it's a very flexible tool. So why hasn't every machine shop got one? Well, in my opinion, every machine shop should have one of these units because it's a, it's a game changer. It will take them into a different um, uh, area of machining. It's um, high-speed machining where you can use a conventional machine. The machines nowadays have the capability of the programming, but the, the RPM has always been a limit, limitation to where they can machine. But now with this unit, it's, it's, um, it takes them into a different area. So it's more great innovation from Tegutech? It's uh, always, a Tegutech is a forward-thinking company. We invest a lot of time and energy into uh, R&D for the benefit of the customer. It's the benefit of the customer, the tools. Everyone will see a solution from Taggy Tech and we should be using these tools on the machines now because it will make a machine shop more efficient and they can offer more, more parts to a customer. So, more money for everyone? Everyone will win with these tools because ultimately the tool is working at the correct um, cutting speed, the customer gets a perfect product, the customer who supplies the product is saving money because the tools are performing how they should be performing because now with this Typhoon unit they can now produce parts at the correct RPM.